What's up, Giles here from Giles FBA, and today we're going to be reverse sourcing with the app Selleramp. If you want a discounted and free trial of Selleramp, check it out down below, first link down below. Basically, I'm going to be showing you guys how to find winning products reverse sourcing with Selleramp. Um, basically, how you buy retail products from a retail store such as Walmart, Target, Best Buy, uh, Walgreens, anything like that, and you kind of middleman it and flip it on to Amazon for a profit. So uh, yeah, let's get right into it. The first part is uh, definitely the starting point. So I usually head on over to uh, our server, which is Giles FBA, also link down below. And uh, I'll go to the premium staff feeds and I'll just kind of look down through here. These are all profitable products that we post in the day to day. Um, I'm just gonna start with one that I posted a few days ago and I'm going to go to the Amazon listing. So that will pull up there. And from here, seller amp is loading over here. Gonna wait for that to pop up. And we're going to open up a web app. And from here, these are all the sellers that are currently selling on this listing. And you guys obviously know they're online arbitrage sellers. Um, because this is an online arbitrage product that we posted. So we're just going to start at the top. And yeah, basically we're going to start sourcing through what this seller is selling. So this is the seller right here. Looks like he does a bunch of video games, maybe some toys, yeah, a lot of the video games. So uh, we're going to start at the top. And essentially I like to open another window here to pull it up. 98 sales per month, Seller Amp says. It is a variation listing though, so we'll have to double check it with Keepa. We'll do a simple Google search here, makes it nice and easy. And we're looking for a target price under $25 to get our desired ROI, which is 25%. So Best Buy has it for 30, Walmart at 50, nowhere close, 30, 30, 30. This is 20 bucks, but that's Amazon, and that's for 22, not 23. So usually I'll do a quick glance on here. Um, maybe I'll go to the shopping, see if it pops up any anywhere else for under 25 bucks. Doesn't look like it. I'll simply close out of these two and move on to the next one. So I like to open the window again and then Google search. So right here, we're looking for max cost, basically $30. And you can see right here, our first one is Best Buy, $30. 37 30 dollars uh that's f1 though yeah that's nowhere close um here's the masters 30 dollars as well deep discount 27 dollars i've never heard of this website before though yeah I'd probably be careful with the website like this but also buy five, get 5% off. Always look into stack codes. Um, I'd probably be careful with a website like that though. Let's see. Yeah, so let's see, let's pull it Best Buy. PlayStation 5, physical, let's compare. I'll pull up the Amazon product page. PlayStation 5, standard. That's good, and I'm gonna scroll down and check Keepa, go to data. Since it is a variation listing, this can sometimes be off. And 100 plus sold per month, pretty good. And you can see, yeah, this is moving um, a decent amount just from the sellers. Uh, increasing, decreasing, increasing, decreasing. Uh, basically, yeah, you, you know this is selling just due to that. There's 51 sellers on February 7th. And today, on February 23rd, there's 35 sellers. So it's obviously selling. Uh, no buy box, which is fine. You can still sell without buy box. Some people uh, think you need buy box to be able to get sales, but that's simply not true. It does look like buy box comes back around 40 bucks, but um, we hope that's not the case since we need to sell for our target price, which is 50 for that 24, 25% ROI, $7 profit if I'm getting it here. Um, if we can stack any type of codes, um, any Rakuten top cash, that's always good. Um, if you don't have Rakuten, don't have Top Cash. Once again, we'll be in the description below, so be sure to grab those. 
Um, basically, it's just cash back on all your purchases, stack them up. Um, it's super good. So yeah, we, we found one. Um, I mean, maybe even, even here, I'd have to look into it a lot more. Um, look into this website more to see if it's any good. But yeah, I'd probably go with Best Buy right there. And then also QVC. Let's see. Oh, wait, that's F1 already. So that deep discount, I mean. Let's check this out. Deep discount. So deep discount it is twenty nine ninety nine. Wonder if there's any site wide free shipping twenty five dollars plus. That's that's good. Um, maybe look into Honey here at checkout to see if Honey has any codes for this. Maybe get ten percent off, fifteen percent off. Take this price down a few more bucks and expand our margins. So yeah, there's our first one we found on the second product search, which is uh, pretty solid. And we just run some repeat, go back to this one. So 101 sales per month. We're looking for a price under nine bucks as variation. So we'll double check with Keepa. And right off the bat, it looks like a lot of a lot of uh, retail stores have this around 20 bucks, which is obviously where it's selling on Amazon as well. Yeah, it's not looking like we'll be able to find it for under nine dollars here so once again close out on to the next all right 44 sales a month looking for under 15 dollars here's target 18.99 let's see if we can find it cheaper anywhere else Walmart eighteen ninety nine. Sometimes you want to click and check on Walmart because the prices can be different than what it's displaying. So this time it is the same. It says digital edition though, so we would probably want physical, I believe. Let's check Target out. Target sometimes running some, uh, some like buy one get ones, buy two get one, free. Uh, sometimes uh, spend. 100 plus and get $25 gift card so you always want to check with target as well so $18.99 that's not going to get us down to our price uh even with the five percent red card so we're going to exit out and move on to the next one um, this one i can just simply look here this this one isn't moving enough for me to even even look at and probably the rest of these so um i would probably exit out of this guy and move on to the next seller Okay, Let's see what MBA is all about. Looking for under 17. 19, 19, 19. Looks like a lot of 19s here. I do like to open these up though because the display cost can be slightly different than what it is actually selling for. Sometimes in your favor, other times not. So always double check this. Doesn't look like that is gonna work at Best Buy. Let's see if there's any deals. No deals right now. Fiscal 1999. Best Buy. Yeah, so probably not any, anywhere we can find it where it's worth right now. So we'll move on. There are 20 sales per month. There's IP issues uh, suspected with Microsoft. We have to keep that in mind. Uh, looking for under 19 bucks. Oh, Minecraft. There's 20 bucks right here. So with oh, this is digital. That won't work. This is for Xbox One. Mm, looks like this might be a pass as well. So on to the next. This is a higher end item, which I like. Lower sales per month. Let's see if we can find it. For a good price. Under 130 is what we're looking for. Used. Got to be careful with that. Um, I fix it. That's not the same product. 
and I'd probably move on to the next one. I'll give this guy probably one or two more, and then I'd move on to the next one. So let's do that. Let's see if we can find this one for under 26. Doesn't look like we'll be able to do that. So I will probably just close out of this guy and move on to the third one, which is this guy. And we will try again. 260 sales per month, under 10 bucks is what I'm looking for. And it is PS5. It's eBay, no good. Oh, here we go. This could be good. A new standard ship to home. 10 bucks. Okay, so this one would be close, close to what we're shooting for. Um, $1.81 profit, 18% ROI. I'd probably pass on it because I have prep, prep cost as well. But if you are prepping yourself, this could be something you could look at and even look at the Keepa chart here. Let's expand this to see if it does bounce up. It's been pretty consistent for the past week or so at 20 bucks. But before then, if we kind of zoom in on... This, we can see the buy box got up to 2166, even 2189, 2166, 2195. So it did bounce a little bit, but it's been pretty consistent at uh, 20 bucks. So we, I, I would personally pass on this. Um, let's see if, if I saw this maybe a week or two ago, I would maybe take a chance on it with that buy box boxing or bouncing up to even 2285. Um, and especially with seller snap, um, I'd be able to sell about buy box. So if we did catch sales at that MS twenty two dollar price point, we'd be looking at three dollars and forty eight cents profit, um, thirty five percent ROI. I personally try to uh, shoot for higher end uh, or higher ticket items, um, so I'm not working with such small profit margins. Um, I like buying stuff that's twenty five dollars plus, and then hitting that twenty five percent plus ROI. Um, let's also double check to see how many times the sales. Yeah, 300 times a month. So that 260 is pretty accurate. So yeah, on to the next. And that's a good sign that the first one we came across actually was, uh, we, we were able to find reverse sourcing. So we're looking for under $45. Let's see if we can find it. Here's something. I don't know if that's right, though. Let's open it up, see if we can confirm if this is right or wrong. GameStop is on there. I don't believe GameStop's on this. Yeah, it's not. It's nowhere near the same. And I do have dual monitors, so I'd pull this up on my other monitor, just so it's much easier, rather than going tab to tab. Uh, but yeah, it doesn't look like we're going to be able to find this one. We're going to close out. Move on to the next one. Usually when I see stuff like this, um, like I said, I'll usually pass just because I don't sell stuff that's this lower ticket, I guess. So, But we'll pull it up for the, for the video to see if we can find anything. We're under 8 bucks. Wow. And GameStop twenty five dollars off whether it's two fifty, like that'd be good if this was ten bucks or nine or ten bucks, and then we could bring costs down even more with that twenty five dollars off. But yeah, it doesn't look like really people will find it. You don't want to waste too much time digging into these products. Um give it a quick scan, see if we can find find it if not move on to the next one you don't want to waste time because you're going to be going through hundreds of products a day I under 11 bucks this is 15 um that's digital that's not xbox 
I pass on that. On to the next one. Looking for under twelve fifty. Deep discount. It's pre-owned. So you always got to look for pre-end, especially in like video games. So yeah, I'd probably move on to the next seller. We just hit that guy. Let's hit this guy now. I believe we already looked at this. Maybe it was a different version. We'll double check though. Oh no, maybe we didn't. This is uh, Xbox One. Xbox One. There we go. This could be. This could be good. If it's physical, yeah, there's physical. Can do shipping. Twenty bucks. Let's confirm it's the same. Well, main page thirty nine dollars is selling price. Seller had it slightly lower because their sellers slightly under that. Let's put buy price in. Now, if you can see this game this game cover is slightly different this is e for everyone this is three i don't quite know the difference of this um should be good but we can talk about this chart real quick as well so 19.99 would be buy price profit eight dollars 40 percent roi let's see how many times it sells seller amp says 183 200 plus so yeah around 200 times a month which is solid but what I don't like about this chart right here, if we zoom in here just a little bit, you can see 14 offers that was selling at the price point of almost $55. Then you can see the influx in sellers, 14, clear up to 25. And you can kind of see oh, my snip tool. So if I snip this, you can see right here, this is going down, which is the price, and the seller count's going up. So if this trend continues, the seller account's going to keep going up and the price is going to keep going down. So I personally stay away from this product for now until it kind of balances out and finds a good price that it kind of maintains. But for now, I'd probably pass on this product. So a good little keep a tip there. But it is profitable for the time being. All right, I got some Nike socks. Let's see if we can find these uh, large white um, for under seven bucks. Highly doubt we're going to be able to do that. Still worth a look, though. I'm going to pull up this page. Let's see. Yeah, it says six pair. Huh. Yeah, we're not going to be able to find that. Sadly, probably same with this. Um, if, yeah, I, I'll probably pass on going through the rest of those. So let's go on to the next one. Let's do one or two more. Let's find one or two more products uh, before we close out of this video. But you guys are hopefully getting the idea. It's just a rinse and repeat of uh, products. Google searching these products, looking at data, seeing if it makes sense. Under nine bucks. This is close. Eleven. This is six twenty. Gonna be careful with stuff like that. This looks like it's the only thing that's the same, and that maybe to the Amazon listing. So this doesn't have any discounts right off the bat. It won't. Okay, it's like these will pop up as well. This is also why I like to. Click on it. Click on the retail stores. I'm in the time offer 10% off your first order. So that will help help with price. Put in my email address, bang, get my 10% off first order. Um in this case we would get what dollar, a dollar off basically, so it still would not be worth it. It'd be close. I mean we'd be getting them for 10 ish dollars. Sell for twenty one seventy two. I mean, yeah, I mean, it, it wouldn't, wouldn't it be worth it in my mind to do this, but that, that's a good example of how you do want to click on these websites because sometimes they will do those flash um, discounts. 
So on to the next here. I like doing the full page open, especially with dual monitors. Just a thousand sales per month. This is a higher ticket item. So let's see if we can find it. I like to open this up, get a better picture of what the product is. Makes it easier to kind of look for. 133, 121 with food. Let's not get this down to 93, sadly. Walmart, okay. We'll check it. It's 109. Third party sellers. Always stay away from third party sellers on Walmart. Uh, this third party seller has 600 reviews, which is actually really good, but I'd still always stay away from third party sellers on Walmart. So let's pass on that. Let's continue on. It's looking for under 12 bucks, 13 bucks at Groupon. Let's see. Sign up for 20% off. There you go. There's another one. Product size. Not sure what the product size is. Let's see if we can try to figure that out real quick. I'm assuming it's the 4 inch, which is sold out. Yeah. Sold out. Dang. So, uh, yeah, maybe, maybe they were buying it from Groupon, flipping it to Amazon using the discount with the pop up right there. I forget what it was, but it was a pop up of something 10% off, 15% off, something like that. You guys just saw it. So let's move on to the next. Also, these, these are kind of strange charts. So, uh, Maybe only one or two sellers on this listing could be PL. Only a few sellers. And just not enough sales per month to really do anything with it. So let's move on to the next. Try to find one more product for you guys. Here we go. For white spandex under eighteen bucks, and there are the three inch shorts whites. All right, white. Yes. Uh, it says C price and bag. It says thirty bucks. Let's see if there's a different price in bag. Maybe sometimes they do this. Uh, okay, yeah, so 22.5 in bag. I don't think that gets us, yeah, it doesn't get us to to the mark there. However, with Rakuten in top cash, Rakuten is 10%, and top cash is 10% as well. So that does help. I don't bake those into my buy, buy price though, but I bet if we manual source this for a bit, we'd be able to find some profitable sizes, some profitable colorways, and uh, we will be able to make some good money um, on these spandex, especially with the sales per month. Let's see what the white is kind of doing. Double check with Keepa. Okay, so only 50 a month. I'd probably trust Keepa here over Seller Amp. Seller Amp sometimes gets, gets confused with all the listings. Also, there's this listing kind of weird. They have multiple whites. But yeah, always double check with Keepa, which we'll have a link to down below as well. But yeah, we could probably find something that makes it work. And there, let's get back to that. I did not mean to exit out of that. Shooters. Let's see if I can find something, maybe. I haven't been selling much, too many shoes recently. Return rate is normally higher. I'm 
may be fun. Under 1050. Let's see exactly what it is. So it's just a high smile. Glow stick tooth gloss. Instant. Interesting. So it's just one, 36 grams. Let's see if this is the same thing. So, third party seller, automatic skip for me. It, they are selling it on High Smile, which I know High Smile does a ton of discounts, a ton of deals. Wow, that's interesting. I've never seen anything like this. But it looks like it's 25 bucks on here. Would not make sense. It's the same thing, yeah. So. Fifteen seventy five. So is the even flow? Even flow three pack whites. So it has a little Evo flow three pack. Two count. Three pack. Is this it? I think this might be it. This could be a good find here, actually. So even flow balance wide neck. Let's see if it's wide neck. Wide neck. One size. Five ounces. Nine ounces. <laughs> um. So it looks like. Let's see. Uh, go here. And let's see. Because this is 9 ounces. The Amazon listing is 5 ounces. 9 ounces, 9 ounces. Doesn't look like they have... Uh, 5 ounces, which is the Amazon listing. Confirm. So yeah, five ounces. Yeah, this one's interesting. Um, let's see if we can find it. Maybe. The better Google search. Let's open this up. It's a nine ounces two count. It's a nine ounces two. Oh wow. Wait, is this the, this might be the third party seller? That's parent choice. It's different. It's different. Let's see what this says. Who is selling the five ounces? Huh. See if we can find this. This is actually intriguing. I can't find where they're selling the five ounces. And that's weird that It's crazy. 700, 700 uh, times for a month, too, is what it's selling. Yeah, these are confirmed the nine ounces, right? UPC. Let's see if the UPCs match. Five, nine. Yeah, UPCs are different. Yeah. Ship dimensions. Nine ounces. Yes. I wonder. I doubt. I doubt the Amazon listing is wrong here, but this would be a cook if we could find the five ounce bottles rather than the nine ounce bottles. 
$14.99, 31% ROI, and it's $5 profit per sale. And it sells 700 times a month, which is uh, really good. But yeah, I can't I can't seem to find the 5-ounce bottles, which should be cheaper than the 9-ounce bottles. Let's see if we can find them here on their website. Oh, they might be right here. Balance plus baby bottles. It did not click on that. Why is it still going to that? Why is it switching to that? That's so weird. I don't understand why it keeps switching to the wrong, the wrong products. Select option. It's <laughs> like auto switches. Oh, not seeing that I'm looking forward to out of stock. Getting near the five. Okay, so this is a good this is a good little lesson. Um, you want to sign up for get notified, and let's see if we can find it here, which would be the wide neck five ounce, I believe. Let me confirm. Yeah, wide neck five ounce. Put in your email, bang, and whenever they come back in stock, you get an email. And uh, let's go back. Let's see if that is. I guess we can't really see the price. Five ninety nine for three would be a steal, but kind of portrays that it might be five ninety nine for three, which would be unreal. Uh, so definitely do this. Definitely go on their website and uh, put in your email. Um, because if we can get them for five ninety nine, it's a two hundred and thirty percent ROI. It's fourteen dollars profit per sale, and uh, these move. They move quick. So, yeah. Um, let's let's end it off there. We kind of went down a rabbit hole towards the end. Uh, if you guys enjoyed the video, please drop a like. Uh, drop a comment of what you guys want to see. Um, if you guys like podcasts, we've been doing a podcast every other week as well. So tune into the podcast. We're on all streaming platforms. And uh, once again, if uh, you need seller amp, need uh, keep up. Be sure to get it in the description down below. And yeah, I hope you guys have a great rest of your day and uh, catch you guys next week.